Did you ever had the situation where the car passed a stop sign and it stopped in the middle of the road? I just want to ask eh, for vehicle owners with FSD 13. Please let me know cause this video gets way more interesting so let's rewind for a second. Hey everyone, we are back with another full self-driving videos and we are in New York and my name is Anato Mohammed and I love to film Tesla full self-driving videos in New York. So we're gonna see how today's in today's video how Tesla FSD performs. We're gonna test some narrow road testing. We're gonna do some tricky unprotected left turn where the car sometimes failed and sometimes do it perfectly. So let's do this test and find out how Tesla FSD handles handles this road condition and how the FSD handles this situation. So we can make this right turn right now because there are less traffic from our left side. So the car did it perfectly and it immediately, oh, very heartbreaking when it was changing the lights from uh, green to yellow and it just immediately breaks and realize that I already passed that white line. So I'm just gonna cross it. So it breaks and then realize, okay, I'm just gonna go. So very first moment, the car definitely had some hesitation. So we are going and we already changed the lane and moved to the left side, which is the right thing to do because in this upcoming stop sign, we're gonna march. And for doing this, we're gonna march from the left lane. So we need to stay in the left side. So let's find out how the car handles this merging situation because in my previous video if you're familiar with my channel you know that fsd almost hit a school bus in this exact road so we're gonna see when the car changed the lane it is the early decision or it's the late decision so we need to change the lane right now so okay it is changing it but very last moment definitely again a stop sign and failed and we are still in the middle of the road you saw that did you saw that I asked you, did you saw that? It failed on the stop sign. We are lucky that there are no other vehicle from the opposite side of the road. And the car stopped after passing that stop sign. Really bad. Like, why don't, why can't you see that stop sign? It's, it's not that hard. It is easy. Oh my goodness. Like, ugh. Guys, please let me know in the comment what you think about this performance. Please, I request you. This is a very, very major problem. <sighs> I'm frustrated, guys. So now we're going to do that uh, narrow road testing. So I'm going to change the navigation right now. So let's do it, guys. So I already changed that and I have to engage it. I engage it one more time, guys. So we should proceed right now. As you can see, the car is hesitating still now still not proceeding so i'm gonna press that acceleration to tell the car please go so i did it and the car is moving and in this narrow road the car failed to calculate the space so we are going very fast and now again you see the hesitation it was going oh wow that was tight like very tight it made it but the thing is at the very first moment it hesitate to make that left turn and now there is another car coming from the opposite side it calculated the space perfectly now and we moved forward very good so as i was saying very early moment the car was hesitating and then it realized okay i'm gonna make a left turn so let's do it one more time what do you think guys let's do it narrow road testing number two in new york and we're gonna see how the car handles this narrow road guys okay so let's find out so we are gonna make a left turn here as you can see this time is much smoother i uh, definitely still have some hesitation it can calculate the space and very nicely done it made that and now it is hesitating to move forward it is going very slow like if you are seeing that probably because of that car on our left side our car is hesitating a little bit just going you know like a straight and could calculate the space between left and right and it is going very slow if you're seeing this navigation like the speed limit is 30 and we're going like 10 or 11 so let me know in the comment guys what do you think why the car is still now hesitating just going fast or following the speed limit or in narrow roads it gets confused i'm i'm very confused about the performance of fsd one day it performs very good the second day next day it performs like garbage now there is a vehicle ah oh, i took over guys ah oh, there is a vehicle 
So I just engaged it one more time, guys. This is a brand new road, so we're gonna see how the car handles because in the GPS you're seeing is saying to go from the right side, but it's a brand new road and our car is navigating us through these. There was a vehicle on our left side. I don't know why the car proceed. <sighs> oh, these things makes me crazy. Like you shouldn't proceed now. This is a very fast road and there will be a vehicle coming from our left side and the car proceed immediately. Mm. didn't like the idea like there was a vehicle on our left side but it's still the car proceed but it proceeded a little fast compared to the last one so the last one the car was proceeding i really don't know there is a vehicle on our left side and why would you proceed like there is no need to proceed there because you could just stop there let those vehicle pass and then you can proceed like cautiously right but you shouldn't do something when you will feel that as a driver, you'll, f you'll feel that this is dangerous move, right? So, and now we're gonna do some unprotected left turn, so you're unprotected left turn, so let's do it. So in this red light, we can definitely make a right turn. Our car did it perfect, see, perfectly. So let's do it, guys. Uh, let's do those unprotected left turn, right? unprotected left number one in new york and the sun is directly hitting in the camera so we're also gonna test how the cameras handle this sun situation as you can see the car decreased the speed it is going a little slow and now we have to stop on this stop sign look on our left side if there is no other vehicle we go straight make a right turn and wait for the opposite side traffic and we make a u-turn so let's find out how the car handles this situation so this is a red light we should just proceed go straight very good job Job. nicely done it came in this right lane and there is no vehicle from our opposite side or opposite side traffic and the car makes that u-turn looks very easy very good job perfectly done guys very very good job so I'm very happy with the first performance so let's do it one more time guys unprotected left number two it is saying take over immediately because of the Sun or something like that so I just took over so really don't know why okay uh the camera is blinded or something like that it is saying that and uh okay so it is not even moving and i i don't get that uh you know like uh fsd icon so i just got it and there are human as you can see we're gonna see how the car handles this we are proceeding slowly we are proceeding very slowly very nicely and we should proceed right now okay just uh perfectly avoided those human and started proceeding very good so unprotected left number two in newark as you saw that very early moment the car got blinded and now we are moving because of the sun and then we engage it one more time we're doing unprotected left turn this is a tricky unprotected left turn in new york where we need to stop for the stop sign creep go straight make a right and make a u-turn so let's find out it didn't even okay now it just stopped uh, it should just slowly creeps it creeps like it's gonna move and now immediately make that right turn don't like the idea why would you do that why would you do that okay so probably because i didn't set the gps that's why i guess really really weird i didn't turn off my gps but did i guys let me know in the comment did i just turn off my gps so let's do it one more time guys i'm extremely sorry unprotected left number two in new york and we're gonna find out how the car handles this unprotected left turn as you saw that the sun is directly hitting in the cameras and the car is still able to see what is happening in front of us it just moved a little bit on the left side to give a space to the right side truck and now we're gonna stop on this stop sign we're gonna creep a little bit to look on our left side and then when it's safe we're gonna go straight make a right turn and make a u-turn so you shouldn't proceed right now so you should stop and now you should proceed very good like oh again immediately make that right turn what do you why would you do that like you shouldn't do this kind of, of like movement uh the first time what you did was perfect so there is a vehicle coming from our uh behind so i just took over because you don't have that much space to make a u-turn from here so i just took over guys so let me know in the comment guys i'm very confused the first time it can do it it can do it perfectly it creeps it goes straight and uh, stop in that left turn lane and when it's safe it make that u-turn but this time the car makes the same mistake it just makes a right turn and when um 
there is a time to make a U-turn, it cannot do it because there are, there are vehicle from our be behind. And when there is vehicle, you cannot stop just in that uh, busy road. So the car, uh, you know, like makes mistake like this, makes me get frustrated, but we're gonna do one more time. So let's do it guys. Unprotected left number three in New York, hardware three vehicle version 12.5.4.2 guys. And we're gonna find out how the car handles this situation because this is a tricky unprotected light if you left. If you're familiar with my channel, you know what I'm talking about. We're gonna stop here. We're gonna creep on our left side to look the left side if there is no other vehicle. We're gonna go straight a little bit, make a right turn and make a U-turn. So now we can proceed and let's see how the car handles. It is going this time and probably is gonna miss again. The same mistake. The same mistake, but now it's gonna make a U-turn from here. It is just following the GPS while we could just do that U-turn in that previous uh, lane. Um, just really, really frustrated because I know it did it perfectly without any problem, but my question is why didn't you do that in the very first lane? Why did you skip that lane, went to the next block and make that U-turn? This is what I'm asking, right guys? So let me know in the comment guys. Also, if you're new in this channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button because this is absolutely free and you can support me as a content creator. Also, if you want to grab our FSD beta bumper magnet from my website or even eBay or Amazon, the link is in the description. You can put it out, put it out on your uh, car and people will know that your car can drive by itself. And it's cool, right guys? Because no other car can do it. Only our car can do it, guys, right? So let me know in the comment, uh, how can I improve? What kind of test you want to see? And please, again, guys, again, I humbly request you, hit that subscribe button, guys. I love you so much and have a wonderful, wonderful day.